Hi. Hey, welcome to this week's second step lesson. <laughs> For the past few weeks, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we've worked on our skills for learning, our focusing attention, listening, using self-talk, being assertive. Now we're going to move into a new unit, and this unit is on empathy. And empathy is be able when we show that we care about people and we understand what they're going through. So we're going, to learn, we're going to work on some skills that's going to help us um, do that better. But before we do that, we're going to do a little brain building. And we're going to do think, turn, tell. So make sure you are with your think, turn, tell partners in your classroom. If you're at home, make sure that you're with a, a brother or a sister or, or another grown-up. And here is your question. I want you to think about a time that you felt happy. Think about a time that you felt happy. Okay. Now, the person with the shorter hair, you're going to speak first. And when you're listening, you have your hands on your on your ears. Okay. Now, remember the idea that you've come up with because you're going to use it later on in our lesson. And we got to make sure we use our self-talk to say it to yourself one more time because repeating things helps you remember them. Okay? So, now that you, th you thought about your idea, turn to your partner and you have 10 seconds. Let me get my get my ten second timer here set. And go. Okay, and stop. All right. Now it is time for the person with the shorter hair to be the listener. So you've got your hands behind your ears. And here we go. Okay. And stop. I said, now, like I said, remember your idea because we're going to use it later on in this lesson. Okay. Now we're going to do some lessons about feelings. Okay. You're going to need your skills for learning for these lessons too. These lessons help you feel or understand what someone else is feeling. People have lots of different feelings. Understanding how other people feel helps you get along and be friends. One way to figure out how people feel is to focus your attention on their faces and bodies. And to help you out with that, you can use your tentoscope. Okay, you can get your get your mind in focus and put your tentoscope down. I'm going to show you two. I'm going to show you two pictures. One at a time. And this is Caleb. Let's focus our attention on his face. Okay? Let's focus our attention right here on his face. Let's, let's look. Well, how do you think that Caleb is feeling? Okay. T 
teachers, grown-ups, go ahead and pause the video and have a little talk with your uh, with your, your student or your child. You know, how how did they think that? How do you think that Caleb is feeling now? Give me a thumbs up if you think that he looks happy. Yep. So how does Caleb how does Caleb's, Caleb's face show that he's happy? Well, let's look at his eyes. Let's look right here at his eyes. You know, what are they doing? Well, they're not they're not wide open. They're they're a little bit little little, little bit squinty. Let's take a look at his mouth. What's he doing? He's what? He's smiling. And now let's look, let's look at his cheeks. What are his cheeks doing? Well, his cheeks are pushed up. So if you smile, you notice how your cheeks your cheeks go up. Okay. Now, turn to your think, your your think turn tell partner, and make a happy face, and focus your attention on your partner's face. Do you see the mouth turning into a smile? It pushes the cheeks up, which makes the eyes smaller. So when we smile, our cheeks go up, and that causes our eyes to look smaller. Now, put your hands on your cheeks and make a smile. Give me a thumbs up if you felt your cheeks moving. Caleb feels happy because his friends come into his house to play. When we're ha when we're happy, our bodies feel comfortable. Now, in your class, you have Be Calm Bunny. Now, when you're in your class, when you are when um, you're holding, be calm, bunny. That means it's your turn to speak. If you don't want to talk about your happy time, then pass be calm, bunny to your neighbor. Oh. So what do you think that Be Calm Bunny will do if you're too noisy? Well, it may run away. It's going to be, be Calm Bunny is going to get nervous. So when you're passing Be Calm Bunny around, you must stay very calm. When you're calm, your voice is your body's still and your voice is quiet. Bunny's name, Be Calm Bunny, will remind you how to act. Okay. So now your teacher's going to take Be Calm Bunny and start passing that around the room. So go ahead and take some time. Go ahead and pause the video and take some time to talk about a time that you felt happy. And then we'll come back to Welcome back. All right. Now I'm going to show you another picture. And this is Layla. Uh, how do you think that Layla is feeling? I think she's feeling kind of sad. 
And what does her face, what does her face tell us? Now, what is her, what is her face doing to show us that she's sad? Well, let's look at her mouth. It's not smiling. Let's look at her eyes. Her eyes are looking down. Let's look at her head. Is her head up or down? Yeah, I have to say it's it's down. Layla's mouth is turned down a little bit on the corners. And her eyes are looking down. She's not crying. But sometimes when people are sad, they do cry. Layla's sad because her puppy's foot is hurt. Okay. Layla's feeling sad. She's not feeling happy. And people show sadness in different ways. Now turn to your partner and show your sad face. When we're sad, our bodies feel uncomfortable. Everyone feels sad sometimes, even though it is uncomfortable. All right. Now let's let's play a little game about feelings. I'm going to give you a situation, and think about whether you would makes you feel um, happy or sad. My kitty is lost. What do you think? That would make me happy or sad? Make me, that would make me feel sad. So, I'll show you. So this would be my sad face. I get to go to a friend's house to play. Happy or sad? That's right, happy. <laughs> you didn't get a turn on the swing. Yeah, that's that 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 one will probably make you feel pretty sad. You got a letter in the mail. <laughs> well, sometimes as an adult, you're not happy when you get a letter in the mail, but for the most part, yay. A friend said something nice to you. Yeah, that would make you feel happy. A friend took your toy away. Yeah, that would make you feel pretty sad. So today, we learned about two, uh, about two different feelings. Okay. We learned from uh, Caleb's face about what it looks like to be happy. And we learned from Layla's face what it's like to be sad. So to end our lesson today, we have a song called The Feeling Song. 
And when you hear the words in the song, everyone has feelings. Give your yeah, here we go. Give yourself a hug. All right. Here we go. So for the next few weeks, we are going to be, um, we are going to have the feelings of, and look who we just got, to, <laughs> look who just came by to visit us, our friend Jeremy. Jeremy, how are you? Good. Good. Okay. Hey, let me finish this up, buddy. Okay. So I hope you have a great day. Jeremy, you you you, have, you want them to have a great day too? Have a great day. Enjoy your flight. All right. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.